All right, so in this uh, video tonight, we're going to be removing a Scheller steering wheel from a 34 Hupplebeel. So this uh, steering wheel is not drilled for a conventional puller. So I was able to find a snap-on blue point puller that's meant for older style steering wheels like this. So I'm just going to come around to the other side of the vehicle and we'll try to remove this. So this is the puller here, so it has like a foot that goes around the back of the wheel. I tried to tap it off with the hammer, but it was just damaging the Bakelite. And I didn't want to do any more damage, so I stopped. And then there's different adapters you can put on here. And this is a uh, keyed shaft. So hopefully, without using any heat, we can uh, just remove this. I haven't uh, tackled this in a while. I've never had this off. So this is real life. Hopefully nothing breaks. Almost need a uh, leverage to turn this thing. Let me just go find something to get that. Let's just use a uh, lead shot hammer. coming off. Alright, so I got it off. It turns out you can't use uh, much heat on this because the uh, steering wheel is flammable. Didn't do any damage to the visible portions. But I'll show you what I've got so far. What I did was I used a, a wrench just to put a bit more leverage on this. But I still couldn't get it to come off all the way. So I took a, a drift and I hit around the uh, outside perimeter of the puller and put a little bit more pressure on it and that got the steering wheel to uh, pop off. So you can see there and this side. I'll bring that out into some better light. And then uh, I probably should have had the nut on here to help protect the threads because the threads on this car, some of them are kind of weird. They're not a uh, standard thread to use today anymore. So if you need a tap or a die, you have to order them and wait a little bit. So that's a bit of learning thing there for me. So I'll just... Uh, I'll get this set up and we'll take a look at it on the table. All right, so you can see the uh, center of the steering wheel where I hit it with the drift in a number of different locations. And uh, like I said, that worked out pretty good just to shock it the last little bit of the way. You can see that it's charred a little bit. It's actually quite flammable. As soon as I brought the torch near it, I knew I was gonna have a problem. And you can see I've got some uh, PC7. I got this from a Eastwood, it's supposed to be an epoxy for uh, preparing steering wheels. This steering wheel is, seems like it's made out of rubber, considering the way it uh, started to burn. I was thinking it was going to be Bakelite and uh, asbestos, but perhaps not. But I'm going to be careful and treat it as if it is made out of asbestos, because a lot of the stuff from these ages is. So you can see kind of the detail on the uh, steering wheel. Couldn't find anything quite like this on eBay. Again, if anyone has a steering wheel for this vehicle, it's a Scheller. I think it is marked on the back. Yes, it is. 
sorry for bringing the light right up on it. It says Scheller right there, and I think I measured it, and it was about 17 inches across. You can see the type of uh, connection there. It's a taper with the key. So uh, anyway, I had to take this off in order to take the steering box off the car because uh, the way it's all assembled, you'd have to lift the whole cab off just to be able to get this thing out of there otherwise. So uh, thank you for watching.